guys, today we're going to be going through more confessions. I always love doing this. And if you guys want to send in a confession, you have to go click on the link to my Amino and then click message on my profile to send it. If you put it into my um, profile as like normal comment box, it doesn't count. You have to actually click message for it to go through. But if you don't know, confessions is where you send an opinion that you may be a little, I don't know, controversial in the art community and don't let anyone know what your username is. So, you know, no one will attack you after you say your opinions. So that's pretty much what this is. We're gonna go through some people's opinions, and like I said, these are other people's opinions. They're not my opinions, so don't get angry at me for it. But also, this drawing I'm drawing in the video here is actually going to be an adoptable up on my Amino soon. I wanted to make one that's actually an animal once because so many people have been saying I never do animals and they are fans of animal characters, so that's what I was going for. I hope you guys like it. Okay, so let's get into the confessions. The first one here is my art confession is that I hate it when people trace gotcha characters. I don't like it because they are not actually learning to draw, they are learning to trace. I have two opinions on this one I suppose. Like um, if someone was drawing or tracing gotcha characters just because they want to do it for fun and they aren't claiming it as their own. I see it as just harmless fun and they aren't worried about learning something from it, then go for it. But if they're doing it and claiming it and saying it's their work, even though they're just tracing, I would see more of a problem because then they're just using someone else's creation, which is gotcha, and claiming it as their own. So that's what I see. But you guys, please do comment and let me know your opinions because I always love reading your comments. Next one here is art confession. I commissioned a girl to draw my OC about a year ago. She told me she would do, I waited. I don't know what that means. It was around the beginning of fall and I told her to take her time. Well, she definitely took her time. A few days passed and I text her, hey, is my commission done yet? Oh no. Her, um, her, no, sorry, I'm almost done. Just give me a few more days. Okay. I don't hear nothing from her for two weeks. I text her no response. A month goes by, nothing. Eventually I tell her to drop the commission and I'll find someone else. LOL, I don't know if this is a confession or a rant. Um, I don't agree with this at all because I know tons of artists that take months to finish their work. So I think it's important to make sure when you're commissioning to know their how long they take. Like, Don't expect them to be done in two days when they could have a backup, like a line of commissions that they're working on that could take them two months to get to you. So you have to make sure you know that. And I always tell people when they're commissioning me that there could be a long wait because it's true. Sometimes there's like a long line and it takes a while to get to their commission. And I don't want them thinking, oh, I just like forgot about them because I've had to take wait like a month to finish someone's drawing before. So don't expect drawings to be done in a, like a day or two, especially for commissions. That's probably not going to happen. Not many people do that. Maybe a few commissioners commissioners, I don't think that's quite the word. A few people who do commissions probably could, but I don't think the majority could. Okay, let's go to the next one here. My confession is that people accuse me of being a tracer because my style can jump around from time to time. When I'm in the bubbly mood, I draw more cartoon style. If I'm not feeling the best, I'll draw my real realistic style. When um, And when I'm in the middle, I draw in a mix of both. People think I'm copying or tracing whenever I do this, which makes me feel not makes me feel that great. Does it make me feel that great? Oh my goodness, I can't read today. I'm sorry, but yeah. Um, let's see. I don't know what I would say to this. The biggest thing is that when people start constantly um, accusing you of tracing and stuff like that, there isn't much you can do, especially online. I don't know how you're supposed to get by this. I always just tell people, if you don't believe me, you don't believe me. But then if it's a moderator thinking you're breaking a rule and stuff like that, it's a little more tricky because some people um, require you to submit proof. But if it's just like you're hanging out and random people are accusing you of theft, honestly, I would have reported to the moderators and tell them that they're bugging you or bullying you about it and then they can probably stop it but other than that I don't know how you stop it it happens so often let's go on to the next one I feel super weird adding watermarks or signatures to my art because I feel like by doing that I'm saying that my art is worth stealing I definitely don't think it is 
Okay, this one I relate to a lot. I, as you probably noticed, I don't normally add my signature to any of my drawings unless it's a like an adoptable because I have to make sure it doesn't get taken away from the person who ends up buying it because it's supposed to be their design. So that's the only time I ever add watermarks, but I probably should start adding a signature. I've never have because I like the same, I had the same reason this person is, is I was always like, well, it's not really worth anything, so why? put a watermark and I've never really thought about it, but I guess that's something as normal you, I should start doing because lots of artists do it. I don't know. I don't know. It's, that's actually kind of relatable. Let's go to the next one. I actually like people watching me as I draw. Oh gosh. <laughs> I know it's dresses that some artists out, but I can just turn to them and ask if they should change something about the anatomy or general shape of something while still in the sketching phase of my drawing. That's a good point. And the best time is when they're trying to annoy me by watching me draw when I ask them something and they get so confused and run off. It's fun. I hate when people watch me draw. I hate it so much. It, it makes me so awkward. But with this, where you're in the sketching phase and someone's watching you sketch, I guess they could give you some pointers, but honestly, it would be the worst in the sketching phase for me. Coloring is like something that is just like going from step one to the end of the drawing. So it's not as, awkward but sketching I do lots of erasing lots of redrawing and erasing over and over again so it'd be really weird having someone watch me I don't know I'd be nervous let's see here confession I hate whenever I get criticism on my art it's just wow it's perfect and amazing keep practicing and you'll get better or it's bad fix it when people give me this type of criticism, I don't know how to improve and what's bad in my art. I would like if, it if people or someone said maybe work on the face, try and add more detail, and make the skin color stay consistent throughout the face. Criticism like that helps me improve, but I don't ever get many comments on my art like that. So this one is about, of course, well, criticism and I feel like this one happens a lot people critique art and some people aren't very <laughs> good at critiquing it usually turns into dissing the art or not really critiquing it at all but there's never really a good middle ground with it and I feel like it's hard to get that middle ground because sometimes I see people in the chat and they're critiquing work but they just sound mean they sound super mean with the way they say things and then other people are critiquing art and they aren't really critiquing it at all so it's like how do you get that middle ground I guess some people are just good at critiquing but I'm always scared to critique because I feel like it's not my place like I don't know I, I don't know why for me I feel bad critiquing anything probably because I feel like it's their style and they probably know what they're doing and I'm just, I'm scared to do anything. That's why every time people ask me for art tips, I'm so nervous. Oh my goodness. Let's see, next one. I don't know if you meant an actual message or on your wall, but my confession is I don't like when people use the word commission for request. When you say, does anyone do commissions? And then you ask the person who responds, is it free? Then you didn't want a commission, you wanted a request. I think this is more of a pet peeve than anything. I agree. I agree to some extent because um, all the time I get emails, people saying, I want to get a commission. I want to do a commission here. I want the commission. I think they just think commission means request. So that's probably the biggest problem. But I write them back and I'm like, oh, well, my commission prices are this. And they, um, I explain to them that there's free requests and commissions. I have to explain it a lot because a lot of times people write just saying they want to um, a commission, but they wanted a free request. So I don't know. And we're pretty much done here. I, I was going to do a couple more, but I can't get through them fast enough. And I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Please do let me know. And I want to hear your guys' opinions on all of the confessions in the comments. I'm always excited to see your guys' comments. And again, this will be adoptable up on my Amino soon. So be sure to go join and check it out. I first time drawing an animal character, so it was pretty nerve wracking, but I hope you guys like it. And again, make sure to write me on Amino and you have to click message on my profile in order to actually get submitted to the confessions. Thank you guys so much for watching.